Earl Glant, shop foreman here at Township Chevrolet. Give everyone a quick rundown on balance and tires. It's that time of year. Everyone's coming in, getting their uh, summers uh, installed, and their winters taken off. Um, and you're getting your tires maybe balanced and installed. Maybe, maybe you don't have the extra set of rims. It's kind of nice to know what we're doing out here. So um, obviously the installation of the tires, you're, you're, putting, you're putting the rubber part of the tire, the tire onto the wheel. Pretty straightforward there. We get equipment to do that, put the tire on. So once the tire is on, the next thing we have to do is make sure the tires uh, is going to run good down the road and not cause a vibration. And the reason why it would cause a vibration is because every rim and every tire has a heavy, heavy spot. Um, if, those, uh, if those two heavy spots happen to line up together, well obviously you've got a really heavy spot there. And then as this is rotating down the road, you're going to have that lifting up and down, which is going to give that shake in the steering wheel. So there's no way for us to tell where the high spot is or the low spot is in the wheel or the tire without putting it on a, on a balancer. And then once it's on the balancer uh, and we spin it up the first time, then we can correct, correct is basically what we're gonna do. So I'll just give you kind of a brief rundown of what we're doing. So I've already got a tire uh, mounted up here. The tire's been installed on the rim. Now it's time to balance it. So the first thing I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna flip these arms down and I'm gonna uh, measure the rim. And the, that's gonna tell us, um, tell the machine where we're putting the weights. Uh, there's a few different uh, things we can do. We can either hammer on weights onto the uh, lip of the rim on the inside and outside, or we can use a stick-on weight that goes on the inside of the rim, or we can use a combination of the two. So in this case, we're going to put stick-on wheel weights. The customer would like them on there. We tend to do that you know, as much as we can anyway. Uh, it helps save the coating on the wheels and keeps the clear coat from uh, you know, chipping or peeling away. So um, what we're going to do here is the stick-on weights. So once I've got that entered in the machine, I'm going to lower the hood here and it's going to spin the tire up um, and it's going to measure the high spot and the low spot. And once it does, it's going to come up here as a measurement in ounces on, on the machine. So it's a, quarter, it's a quarter ounce of weight is what it's saying it's off. So I'm going to go ahead and lift the hood up and on the inside of the tire, there's actually a, uh, there's actually a line. Um, there's a line in, laser line inside of, the, inside of it that shows me where I'm gonna put the weight. So if you can see here, this is the uh, left side of the wheel and this is the right side. So the right side measured okay. The left's got the quarter ounce weight. I'm going to uh, press the brake on the machine. I'm gonna give the wheel a wipe where I'm sticking it to so it's got good adhesion there in the wheel. I'm gonna uh, place the weight on. Give it a good hard press there to make sure it's gonna stay on. We're gonna uh, let the brake go, put the hood down again. And it's going to spin the wheel again this time to see uh, if the wheel's in balance. You see it comes up okay. So now we know that that uh, wheel is balanced and we're going to go ahead and do that for each of the four wheels in the car. Um, one thing it'll ask me on here, I already set this machine up to do, to, to do this video for you guys, but it'll ask me where we're putting it on the vehicle as well. So we'll select on where we're going to put it. Once that's all done, all that's going to do is make sure if Basically what that did was it asked me for a quarter ounce of weight because exactly 180 degrees of the tire on the opposite side, it was a quarter of an ounce heavier on that side. Um, another thing this machine does too is what they call a road force. It's usually uh, with the bigger wheels, mostly involved with the trucks. And what's going on is when you get, you know, 19, 20 inch wheels on trucks, very aggressive tread, uh, and they're eight ply, 10 ply, 12 ply tires. Obviously that heavy spot is gonna be a lot greater. Uh, and you can actually get the tire physically you can see the tire moving up and down so what may be happening is the high spot in the rim and the high spot in the tire are also lined up the same way so that's where this big drum will come down and it'll place itself on the tire and as the tire spins it'll measure it'll actually get us to chalk line the tire take the tire off the rim and then rotate the tire on the rim to try to line up the low side of the tire with the high side of the rim and vice versa so that when we put it back on the machine, it's, it's less of a, you know, a, a, a variation in, in, in the tire. So um, that's one thing we do offer here too. So um, that's basically the gist, gist of the balancing. Obviously, I think we've talked before in some of these videos here, if you don't have your tires balanced, you're gonna get uh, a lot of uh, uneven tire wear, which, you know, will lead to noise and stuff. And I mean, once you've got the une uneven tire wear, um, you can balance your tires, but it's not gonna get rid of that tire wear and unevenness that's already there. So. Um, just to let you guys know, when you're sitting in the waiting area and you're waiting for us to uh, install and balance your tires, you know exactly what we're doing out here. And uh, it's been another episode of uh, Tech Talk with Earl Glant. And look forward to seeing you.